Hello everybody, I am Jeffrey Hauser. I thought it might be fun to do a video of upgrading from Angular 12 to 13. Um, so I am dealing with the Learn With, Learn with app and um, I have it checked out and I'm going to do an ng serve and then show it to you in the browser. And this is with Angular 12. Um, the book code is set up to do a lot of um, integrate with a lot of different separate services for backend services. So the Angular proxy is set up here. And so, boom, I'm going to reload in the browser. We can shut this one off. I'm going to log in. This is the application. I'm not going to go into too many details, but the book step by step teaches you how to build this. So I've logged in, it's a task manager application because that is simple, but still has a lot of different things that a, um, a lot of different functionality I use in my day-to-day -day work with clients and projects. So it looks like everything is here, everything is working as expected. So that is the sample and the app we want to update. What I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to this website, update.angular.io. I want to upgrade from 12 to 13. My app is basic um, in the books. There's nothing really special or out of the ordinary. And I'm going to click show me how to update. And now I'm just going to follow these steps to make sure everything works. So. There's a nice copy. So, boom. Usually, when I update my books, I rebuild everything from scratch with the new Angular versions. Um, and I've been updating with each version since like four. But th this time I thought. Let's try the update process, which I have used on actual client projects. So it sounds like I need to update ng bootstrap too. I'm doing that from memory. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's good, if that's going to help. But let's see what this says. Okay, let's just do a force and see if things still continue to work. Okay, at least it's continuing on with the update. The books use ng bootstrap, which is a UI library um, based on bootstrap, um, potentially a parallel to ng material, which comes directly from the Angular team. OK, it looks like that did it. In theory, that did it. So let's see what happens if I do an ng-serve. I may have to go back and update the data table and ng-bootstrap. But honestly, we'll find out.
compiled successfully, serving. So one thing worth noting, we don't have any messages about the proxy. So I'm going to reload this, sign in me, me. That works. This one is using mock services. Um, let's do and user configuration cold fusion, which will access a cold fusion server I have running on my local machine and an actual database um, rest endpoints there. Uh, the books cover cold fusion, Java, Node.js, and PHP. And they all use the same endpoints. So, meet me. I am going to want to watch the network tap on this one. Breakpoints from. Oh, that worked great. Awesome. So, that was it. That was super easy. You probably noticed a little surprise in my voice that the proxy worked because when I'm writing the main books and creating everything from scratch, I'm actually having issues with that right now. But that is a issue for another time. I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And be sure to check out my book series that teach you everything you need to be an enterprise Angular developer.